Today we're going to make another Polish dish. It's called Haluski. Now that's H-A-L-U-S-K-I. It is also made by the Ukraines and there's a lot of versions of it in Eastern Europe. There's even uh, a version where it's made with little stuffed potato noodles, but that's not this version. This is the buttered noodle version. Um, it is a fantastic side dish, and you can even make it as an entree. It has a lot of flavor, and uh, it's like a soul food. It's very comforting. So, I want to share with you our Huluski recipe. The ingredients are simple. You just need some noodles. I'm using these extra wide ones that we use for bok pie, but you can use whatever size noodles you want. And of course, you can even make your own from scratch. You need about six ounces of dried noodles, two cups of onion, cut up of course, and a small cabbage, maybe about one and a half pounds. And again, cut it in bite-sized pieces. And for our spices, one half teaspoons kosher salt and one half teaspoon freshly ground black pepper. Mine was not freshly ground. Does it really make that much difference? I think it does if you're using it fresh on something, but once you're cooking it, I'm not really sure. And then of course you want butter. You want six tablespoons of butter because that's what makes this. It's a butter noodle recipe. You can leave it just plain like this. It is fine. Or you can add meat. And of course, you know, my husband's a meat lover. So we could add bacon, ham, or in this case, I thawed out some of the kibasa loaf that I made earlier, and I'm going to dice that up and put that in. Now, you can make it completely without meat. You do not have to, but I suggest that you do make it with real butter. It makes a difference. Don't use margarine. And it tastes great with adding meat. Um, a lot of people add bacon. I know that's the Ukrainian way of making it. Some add ham, um, different sausage, even ground beef. I had frozen up some of that uh, kielbasa meatloaf because it made so much and I broke it all up and mmm, that gave it a great flavor profile. Now, some people also add sour cream, which I'm going, ooh, to this recipe. It has butter, it's very rich. I do not think it needs the addition of sour cream, but that is up to you. You wanna get your water up to boiling for your noodles before you really start cooking your onions or your meat. And you can, of course, always make your noodles ahead. So we have our noodles cooking over here, and now we're gonna start in the frying pan. We got two tablespoons of butter that we're melting. Now, if you were cooking up bacon, you would do that first. Or if you had any other meat that you had to cook first, you'd do that. But then, we want to add our onions. I'm sure you've heard me mention many, many times, but I just love the smell of onions cooking in butter. Okay, we're gonna cook them for yeah, maybe about four minutes. Be back. Okay, the onions were browned a bit. <laughs> Smells so good. Now I'm gonna add the spices. Just Put them up in the butter. And we're gonna add two more tablespoons of butter. And on top of that, we're gonna add our cabbage. Oops, he's left behind. I gotta eat it. We'll mix this up just a little. Okay. Now 
over and I want to cover it. Temperature up to high. Turn it down to medium for about 10 minutes. And we'll be back. Okay, our 10 minutes is up. Oh, oh no, I burnt the bottom. Yes, even I can make mistakes. Well, we'll just tell them it's a little Cajun, right? Oh, darn it. You know, I still think it's going to taste good. Kind of like it's grilled, right? Now let's add our meat. Give this time to warm up a little before we add the noodles. We're just going to add our remaining two tablespoons of butter. And our noodle. Now we're just going to Stir it up. I'm just going to let it all warm up together and we'll be ready to serve. Now, doesn't that look pretty? Let's take a bite with a kibasa. Gonna get a noodle and cabbage. Gotta let it cool off a minute. You know how often I burn my mouth when I'm trying to make a video for you because I'm like trying to hurry it up. Yeah, I'm gonna blow on it. Nope, still too hot. Mmm. The noodles are buttery. Mm. Cabbage is tender. And actually this kibasa loaf gives it a nice flavor. Mm, one more bite here. Mmm. just is a comforting soul food. It just has a great flavor profile. But the recipe does make a lot, especially if you're not using it as an entree, it's a side dish. But you can freeze it for up to three months in the freezer, and that means probably you can freeze it longer, right? But it also is great I had it for lunch every day for the whole week. It was wonderful. And I gave a nice big portion to my oldest son who loves this dish. So I urge you, make some halluski. It's great, especially the next time you have a ham dinner for a side, but you can also make it as an entree. Have fun. As always, please share the knowledge. And thank you so much for watching.